All right, so a class is a blueprint to create an object. So if you guys can see from my very amazing drawing, you can see that we have a house. All right, we can have different properties for a house. So that's what the blueprint should describe. It should describe, you know, the amount of rooms, the amount of bathrooms, the color of the house. These are properties of a house. These are the things that a blueprint should have. All right, and then we have actions, all right? This is going to be the methods of the object, the things that uh, the house can do. So we can open the door, we can close the window, we can paint a new color. These are the methods of an object. Object. This is going to be the functions that you have within a class. So I hope that helps clear it up a little bit. A class is a blueprint of an object, and a class contains properties about the object. So in this case, the object is the house. You guys can see the windows, you guys can see the doors, and on a deeper level, these properties describe the amount of rooms, the amount of bathrooms, the color of the house, and it can do actions or a object contain methods or a class contain functions that is called the method when you create the object, which in this case is a house. You can use it to open up the door, you can use it to close the window, and you can even paint a new color. That's that's cool. So now we're gonna see in Kotlin how to create this blueprint. So if we switch over, see how to create this class or this blueprint in Kotlin. So as you guys can see, I have this main function and really this is already gonna be in the application start um, file. I'm gonna keep the class in the same file, but later on we're gonna write its own file for it. But in this case, I'm just gonna put it right below the main function and I'm gonna put class. And in this case, I wanna create a house. And then you open up some curly braces and within these curly braces, this is where we're gonna start writing some properties to describe the house or create some functions to describe an action that the house can do. But another cool thing about Colin is that if you have no properties that you wanna to use to describe the class or the object, you can just omit the curly braces and this will just signify that it's gonna be an empty class and um, this is perfectly fine this is still a class but in our case we want to actually write some properties about the house so we're going to do that 